What's up guys, my name is Raptor, and in today's commentary I'm going to be telling you guys how to get more subscribers and more viewers on your channels. Now first of all, YouTube is not easy and it's time consuming and it costs a lot of money. So don't go into YouTube thinking that you're going to make a lot of money and it's going to be extremely easy because it's not. I've been on YouTube for more than three years, not on this channel, but um, I've been running a YouTube channel for more than three years and I can say from personal experience that YouTube is not an easy gig, okay? It takes a lot of time and effort and ultimately it costs a lot of money. Now, I'm going to be going over the things you need and what you don't need and all that stuff in this video and uh, I'm going to have multiple parts. So, in this first video, I'm going to be going over like software and hardware you need. In the next episode, I'm going to go over what kind of content you should make, what kind of viewers you should tr strive to, you know, um, become active on your videos and who your target audience should be and the third episode would just be like miscellaneous things like channel art um, you know thumbnails you know stuff like that but it it's also important like tagging and you know descriptions and stuff like that and also coming up with a channel name but anyway let's go ahead and get into it so first of all I've been doing YouTube for two years um, this is my Raptor Gaming account, otherwise known as Raptor, for some of you new people. You guys see the OG name. Uh, with the new Google Plus system, you can pretty much name your channel anything. So just come up with a creative name and, you know, start from there. Uh, what you should do to start off making videos is come up with, like, a catchy slogan or something that you can get used to in the beginning of each episode. So, for example, I use... What's up, guys? My name is Raptor, and I don't know how I started using that. It just became natural for me. So that's what I started using. <laughs> um, and then when I say goodbye to people, you know, at the end of the video, I'm like, leave a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you guys are new. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Peace out, homies. And I do that for every video and people, you know, get used to that. And it really helps, you know, strive um, for viewers and new viewers to, you know, come together. And I don't know, it just makes them feel special when you say the same thing and that you can you know, make something memorable for them to remember at the end of the video or at the beginning of the video. It's really good, and it's a, you know, a really good way to, you know, start your fan base off early. Um, another thing to start getting early viewers is just to make good quality content. What I mean by that is you need to have HD, all right? So look at my gameplay. It looks pretty good, right? 700, 720p and 60 frames a second, and listen to the mic quality. It's not the best, but, you know, it's pretty good. I also have a you know a tutorial on how to do all these things in the description. If you guys want to start a YouTube gaming channel, my first episode uh, where I went over like the basic stuff is in the description, and how to make your voice sound even clearer and better, you know, for free. You can download some free programs and make it sound even better. I also have that in the description. You guys can go check that out. And while you're down there, you might as well subscribe and leave a like on this video. Anyway, uh, what was I talking about? <laughs> Let's go into more tips um, and videos. You guys should start off making. Uh, you should start making whatever like your niche is, okay? So that's what I need uh, you guys to do, okay? In order to grow your channel, you need to find a niche or like something that isn't really common on YouTube. And I know that's kind of hard to do because everything on YouTube has been done already. And it's everything is kind of oversaturated as it is. But what I want you guys to do is find something that isn't as popular as something else. Like right now I'm doing Call of Duty, which is extremely popular. Um, so I'm kind of trying to switch into different games and different genres and testing the waters there. But it seems like most of my target audience is Call of Duty, so I might just stick with Call of Duty, you know. But if Black Ops 3 is bad, I don't know what I'm going to do. Okay, anyway, like I was saying, you guys want to, you know, create a niche and... Well, not create because everything's been done before, but, you know, do a niche. Like, uh, if I use Call of Duty as an example, tips and tricks have been pretty well done. Uh, in the past by T. Martin and, you know, bigger YouTube channels like that. Um, class videos have been pretty done, pretty much done already. Uh, something that you could do is maybe start an Infected series and play with, uh, you know, your fans once you get them at anyway. Um, and if you're starting a brand new channel, make some videos that you know will get some views, okay? Tutorials and how-tos are the number one way to get views and subscribers on YouTube, okay? I have a how to get free PSN games, um, you know, for the PlayStation 4, obviously. And you guys can go check that out in the description if you haven't already. And that's gotten about 6,000 views, and I've gained about 50 or to 60 subscribers from it. 
and it's it's not a cheap way to do it or anything like that it's it's perfectly legit and the method actually works now what i'm saying is make how-to videos for people you know that actually need it don't just spam how-to videos on what you think people need or anything because I've, I've done that in the past and it really doesn't work out and it's just a waste of everybody's time uh, make sure it's relevant too like don't be like how to clean n64 disk drives or whatever they're called because nobody needs to know that anymore you know but uh all right sorry for the jump cut right there but there's like something going off in the basement i have no idea what it is but it's like something making noise it sounds like a walkie talkie i have no idea what it is but anyway let's go and get back into the video uh, videos you need to make you need to make how-to tutorials and stuff like that and uh another big thing giveaways can you know grow your channel a little bit but they also create a lot of inactive subscribers like i used to do a lot of giveaways and now i have a thousand 400 subscribers and about 500 or so of them are inactive so only about i only have about 800 you know active subscribers you know people that watch some of my videos and you know comment and like so i kind of wish i didn't do it but at the same time it, it showed a lot of growth and stuff and for the time being my channel was very active i was all right yeah but giveaways do not help a channel's growth they really don't um, another thing that's good for, you know, starting out a YouTube channel is, um, connecting with your audience. Doing that is actually really good and it, you know, helps, uh, the audience, you know, stay connected with you and being a good part of, you know, the community that you're involved in. Like, say you, say you play Minecraft, right? And you do Minecraft Let's Plays. If you're very active in the minecraft community people might check you out just because i see you commenting everywhere or something but that does not mean spam i repeat this that does not mean spam don't do that guys that really just makes you look bad and it doesn't help the channel so really all you need to have is good quality content and you know post a couple videos that get you know a couple thousand views and you should be well on your way to making good quality content uh what i suggest is getting an hd pvr or something other like that like an elgato and for a microphone, a blue snowball. Uh, and I know it's not the most, you know, cheap stuff. A Agato, you know, the original one, goes around 120 to 150 dollars, you know, US. And a blue snowball goes around 50 to 60 dollars, uh, US. So, you know, it's not cheap, but if you, you know, really put work into it and dedicate yourself, I feel like anything can, you know, work out in the end. Everybody has to reach 100 subscribers eventually. Everybody has to reach 1,000 subscribers. Uh, you know, eventually everybody has to reach a million subscribers eventually if you just keep working at it That's how I look at stuff. That's what I did. I persevered and you know, I'm eventually Gonna you know reach 10k hopefully But uh, yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video make sure you leave a like comment down below Tell me what video I want to see next and uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out homies Don't forget if you guys are new to this channel you subscribe it really helps out